Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Now Malls Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm going to review a kind of a cool item that I found. It's the Cooler Cozy. This has been sitting in the freezer for days. It's ready to go. So it has inactive or innovative <laughs> Arctic bead technology here, and it's a koozie full of these little beads that you can put in the freezer, and they will supposedly cool your drink if it actually works. It may be something to check out. The Cooler co Cozy keeps it seriously cold. It says... Um, we believe the Cooler Cozy is hands down the coolest and most effective koozie on the market today. The secret is, is our innovative Arctic bead technology that all, not only keeps your drink cooler for a longer period of time, but actually lowers the temperature of your beverage. So, let's uh, open this up. And look at that. 400% cooler than other drink holders. So place Cooler Cozy in the freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes. Oh yeah, the retail price is $8.99. Um, but yeah, online, I mean, shop around, because online, <laughs> seems like everything is more expensive online now um, than the actual stores. Uh, but yeah, place with shipping and stuff. Um, place Cooler Cozy in the freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes. Remove Cooler Cozy from the freezer and insert a chilled can in the, into it. Drink and enjoy the seriously cold beverage. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'll just take the temp on these cans, 45 degrees, that's weird, 41.7. How is that possible? Let me, let me aim it at something different. These have been in the same fridge. Let me do the front, maybe the front is different. Okay, so there we go. It's kind of bouncing around a bit. This. 49, let's just say 45 degrees each one. All right, so what I'm gonna do, show you the Cooler Cozy. Um, yeah, there's only, that's interesting, there's only beads on the front of this thing. So that's really good that I test this out because you think that's gonna be wrapped around, but no, it's just this little pocket of cooling beads. All right, so what I'm gonna do is open up these cans and then I'm gonna test the temp. So we got a baseline. All right, so here we go. Check the temp. You can see it right there. All right, so pretty consistent, it looks like, with what this was showing. 45 degrees inside the can. Yeah, and this is 43 to 41, wow. So these were in the fridge in the ex exact same spot. It's really interesting that this has a different temp than this one. That's really strange. I mean, just like, because I know, I've seen uh, refrigerator tests and they do have, you know, it's known that they have pockets of uh, um, warmer, you know, warm spots, but they were side by side in the fridge, so I I'm not sure. What I'm going to do is kind of put this on here. I'm going to put it on the, actually, the warmer one here and see. But yeah, it holds it really well. It's got the side logo, which is kind of cool. It's got the beads. You show everyone that you have these cooling beads. But what I'm going to do is leave it out for about a half an hour, come back and test the temperature of the cans. Um, I mean, I guess my hypothesis get scientific, is this one's gonna be cooler. Even though this one started out at 45 and this one was 41, I think this one's gonna be, uh, uh, yeah, let's just write that down. So we had 45 degrees and then we had 41. And, uh, and we'll come back and I think this one should remain close to 45. Let me, let me move this. So I think this one should remain close to 45 and this will go up to, you know, let's let's say 50 degrees or something. But uh, let's set the timer. Alexa, set the timer for 30 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna come back after 30 minutes and then uh, do the test. I'll do, uh, do this one and this one right here and uh, see what the temperature is, see if it actually works. 
All right, so it's been 30 minutes and now for the test. So once again, this was 45 degrees and then this one was 41 degrees. And uh, here we go. Actually, I'm not gonna take it out. I'm gonna first test this one. So it's gone up quite a bit, more than I expected actually. So let's say about 52. Measure the outside. Yep, that's exactly the same. It says 51 about. All right, so for the test, how did this one do? So this one rose 11 degrees. And how about this one? And look at that, it's actually cooler. So, so even though this one was warmer in the beginning, it is now cooler at 48 degrees. So it's only increased three degrees. And then this one was increased 11. All right, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's not the best test. Uh, let's test the beads. I'm gonna shine this on the beads. I say 56, 57. So now it says 46. So it almost didn't go down in temperature at all, and that's after 30 minutes. So let's, let's cross it out, let's put it 46 degrees. And now it went up to 48. I moved this around a little bit. All right, so maybe it's, oh, it went back to 46. Okay, never mind. Let me test the can. So the can's a lot warmer. And then the part, maybe there was a co point contacting with the beads. And let's see here. We have the can, the outside of the can is a lot warmer. I'm feeling these, they're, they're still somewhat cool. But yeah, I guess combine the insulation with the beads. They're, actually, it's not even, they're not even that full. That's another thing, look at this. So I'm moving them around, you can see that. So it's not even that full. So maybe the beads are kind of a gimmick um insulators definitely seem to work um, that's probably mostly what's going on here i guess as far as look looks wise i guess if you're looking for a beer koozie um, these are kind of like an impulse buy but if you if you're actually in the market for a beer koozie i could see getting this one uh you know i mean it's not very much money it's nine bucks so uh i think this is more of a gimmick than actual um uh, use because it's just there aren't enough beads inside here it doesn't wrap around so it's not like a freezer pack or something like that i would think the most benefit is the actual koozie but if you think this is look looks cool i'd say go for it i do like the branding because a lot of koozies are kind of generic and not really good quality this is a quality koozie it's kind of cool so i guess on the fence leaning towards yes let me know what you think have you tried this out or what's your favorite koozie? Maybe there's a better one out there. And thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later.